Some Valley contractors are busted for breaking the law, and it's all caught on tape. Action News cameras were invited along for a special sting operation. Tonight, a Contact 13 consumer alert on how to protect yourself and your home. You just write your bid on there. Local contractors accused of working without a license. What you're looking at are contractors at a North Las Vegas business bidding on a remodeling job. They thought they were speaking with the business owners, but they were actually investigators with the Nevada State Contractors Board. The undercover sting operation was a partnership with North Las Vegas Police. In all, nine contractors were slapped with 13 citations, including advertising without a license. You cannot advertise any of your specific trades anywhere. That means on the internet, on Craigslist, on your vehicle, on your t-shirt, on a business card. Without a license, the board says there's no guarantee these contractors are qualified to do the job. After he was busted, Contact 13 spoke with Fred, who says he's aware he needs a license, but can't afford one. I knew I was skating. I was on a fine line. But, you know, desperate measures. And that's what we heard from other contractors. I don't have the, the money. This is my living. I go check by check. So what happens if you hire a contractor to do some work in your home and he turns out to be unlicensed? The contractor's board says you're taking a very big risk. Many of our unlicensed contractors, especially those uh, that we see uh, advertising on Craigslist, are known for coming in, taking your money up front, doing poor workmanship, abandoning the project. Contact 13 has learned in the last fiscal year, the contractor's board filed nearly 500 criminal charges against unlicensed contractors in Nevada. And that resulted in 363 criminal convictions. If you look at the amount of money lost to unlicensed contractors, it adds up to more than a whopping $3 million. Donna Heavey knows what that's like. I was going to have pavers um, placed from the patio out approximately 10 feet. She unknowingly hired an unlicensed landscaper last year. Donna admits she never looked into his credentials because he came so highly recommended. My HOA here in my submaster in Summerlin recommended um, this landscaper. But after handing over $3,200, she says he disappeared. He never showed up, he never contacted me, nothing. And I kept calling him, he never returned a telephone call. When that happens, your only recourse with an unlicensed contractor is legal action. Donna says it was a tough lesson. I uh, just feel very um, uh, violated. Remember, when you hire someone who's licensed, you have the full protection of the contractor's board, which can investigate and take action against that contractor. The board says that's why sting operations like this are so important in order to get these unlicensed contractors off the street. So here's a Contact 13 bottom line. If you want to hire a contractor, do your research first. Call the contractor's board. They can tell you if someone is properly licensed and if they have faced previous violations. As for the contractors busted in this story, they were each slapped with a misdemeanor citation and they will have their day in court. If you've been the victim of an unlicensed contractor, be sure to file a complaint. We have more information at KTNV.com. Just click links under the on-air tab.